Are you a Mac OS user who also needs to use Windows occasionally on your Mac? Well, it's pretty easy to do with software you might already have, and it's completely free. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to run Windows on your Mac computer. Before you get started, here's what you need to make it work. First, you need an Intel-based Mac computer. I've included a link in the description of this video so that you can check to see if your Mac computer is compatible with Windows. If you're unsure whether or not your Apple computer is an Intel-based Mac, click on the Apple logo on the menu bar and then click on About This Mac. If you see the words processor followed by the name of an Intel processor like 2.6 gigahertz, six core Intel Core i7, then you have an Intel-based Mac. Next, you need at least 64 gigabytes or more of free storage space on your startup disk. And if you're on a laptop, you'll need to be plugged into power. And finally, it's always a good idea to back up your hard disk before you make any major changes. Now, Windows 11 is not currently compatible with Boot Camp Assistant for Mac OS. So for now, your only option is to install Windows 10. You can download a Windows 10 disk image ISO file for free from Microsoft. I've included a link to that ISO file in the description of this video. Click on the link from your Apple computer that you want to install Windows on. Click on the Select Edition drop-down menu and choose Windows 10 Multi-Edition ISO. Click Confirm and then wait for your request to be verified. Once that process is finished, choose your language and click on Confirm. Finally, click on 64-bit download to download the Windows 10 ISO file. The Windows 10 ISO file is close to six gigabytes in size, so it might take some time to download. After the ISO file is done downloading, leave it in the downloads folder and then move on to the next step. Now it's time to open and run Boot Camp Assistant, which comes factory installed on your Apple computer. Launch Boot Camp Assistant and then click continue. Click on choose a Windows 10 ISO file and upload the Windows 10 ISO file you just downloaded in the previous step. Next, drag the bar to choose the size of your Windows partition disk. 42 gigabytes is the minimum size. Click install and then wait for the partition to be created on your hard disk. It usually takes around 10 minutes or less. Once the Windows partition is finished, your computer will restart. Now it's almost time to install Windows on your Mac. Your computer will boot up, but instead of showing you the Apple logo you're used to seeing on startup, you should instead see the blue Windows logo appear. Here's what you need to do next. You will now be in Windows Setup. Choose your language, the time and currency format, and the keyboard layout, and click Next. You'll be prompted to enter a product key. You can enter a product key if you have one, but if you don't, you can continue without one. The installation will begin, and you will start to see Windows files being copied along with features and updates being installed. The Windows installation should take around 10 minutes. When it's done installing, your Mac will restart and you'll be asked to set up Windows just as you would on a new Windows computer. You can set up Cortana and Trader to recognize your voice. You can set up your keyboard and mouse layout and connect to a Wi-Fi network. If you have a Windows account already, go ahead and log in with your credentials to get the most out of your Windows 10 experience. You'll be asked to create a passcode and a PIN number, so go ahead and set that up as well. Now you're all set to use Windows 10 on your Mac, which might feel kind of funny at first. It's like an imposter. Now the final thing you want to do is install Boot Camp on Windows. Installing Boot Camp in your Windows OS will allow you to make changes to the partition or fix any issues you might run into while using Windows on your Mac. When you log into Windows for the first time, you should receive a notification to install Boot Camp. Go ahead and do it just to get it out of the way. It should take about 10 minutes to install and update. Well, now you're good to go using Windows 10 on your Apple computer, congratulations. If you want to switch back to Mac OS from Windows, here's how to do it. Restart your computer, and as soon as the screen goes black, press and hold the Option key for five seconds. The screen will now display two options for you to boot up. You can boot Mac OS on one partition or Windows 10 on the other. Choose which operating system you want to use and log in like you normally would for each, and that's it. During the install, I did run into some issues that I wanted to point out. Boot Camp Assistant was getting stuck and would not download the Windows support files. I eventually got it to work by running disk utilities to repair the disk, updating macOS Big Sur to the most recent update, and making sure my security settings would allow for downloading from any site. 
Well, I hope this was helpful for those of you who wanna use Windows on your Mac computer. Let me know in the comments if you have any tips or tricks to make the dual boot between Windows and Mac OS even more seamless. And like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more how-to videos from CNET's YouTube channel, and happy Windows Tensing. <laughs>